Hey y'all, what's up? I hope that you're having an awesome day. And today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair, get my volume, and how I like to style it. Um, I don't have too much to say. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Whenever I did film this video, I don't have on any makeup and I have two uh, new friends out to party. So uh, you'll be seeing them shortly. Okay, so I am fresh out of the shower. I completely look like a lunatic right now. Um, I don't even want to talk about these that's on my face right now because this is literally the bane of my existence right now. Like, what the hell? I don't know. Anyways. So, like I said, I'm out of the shower. Um, I'm going to just kind of go over what I'm going to be putting in my hair first. And then we're going to jump right into how I curl my hair. So, the first thing that I do whenever I get out of the shower, after I kind of towel dry my hair a little bit, is to put in my Whey Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I just get a little squirt of this in my hand and just focus it on the ends. I can definitely feel a difference whenever I don't use this. My hair gets very dry and brittle, um, but whenever I do use this, it is amazing. So after that, um, a couple of the other products that I put in before going in with my blow dryer it is the Suave Volumizing Root Boost Spray, and it is targeted to lift and support at the roots. So what you do, you have this little nozzle here, you just kind of part your hair at the root and you just give it a couple sprays right at the root. Part your hair again. So once that is in my hair, I just kind of give it a good little rub on my scalp. And then I will go in with this from L'Oreal. It is the Boosted Volume Inject Mousse. I will just put a little bit of that. Uh, hair. Right there. there we go. Put a little bit of that in my hand. And go in, and I'll do this on my roots and my ends. And really just work that in a lot. Especially in the back of my hair. Uh, my hair, it is stacked. I don't think I've ever even shown the back of my hair. Um, my hair, it is stacked in the back. So I do have some pretty short hairs back there. And I'm going to show you my lovely cowlicks that I have as well. So once I have all the product in my hair that I'm going to be using right now, I take this very ratty, broken hair dryer. I got this uh, back whenever I was in cosmetology in high school, so it is like 10 years old. Um, it is broken, it's missing like little decorative pieces, but it's still going strong. So, uh, actually it's kind of going strong, it doesn't go on high anymore, so that kind of sucks. But I'm going to start blow drying my hair, and the way that I do that, I just kind of blow dry up and all which ways and whenever I do get to the back of my hair and start blow drying that I take my hand flat against my head like this I'll even do it on the sides I take my hand flat against my head and I rub in circular motions like that as I'm blow drying it it gives you such lift and such volume in your hair like it is insane so I'm gonna start doing that now So now that my hair is like 100% dry, I just kind of give it a little brush through. And uh, I really like using those products in my hair before I dry because it gives like a good base, like kind of grip to my hair. That way, whenever I am ready to style it, it's not like super slippery and won't hold because my hair will definitely hold my curl um, if I prep my hair with these products before I go in to curl it. 
So, now that we're at this point and I'm looking lovely, um, I don't even want to talk about how grown out my hair is because it is disgustingly grown out. I hate it so much right now. Okay. So, I am just going to kind of clip up my top part of my hair right here. And I do have kind of like an asymmetrical bob haircut. So you will see it is much longer on this side than it is on this side and I do have it stacked in the back. So what I use to curl my hair is actually my flat iron. This is a Remington flat iron. Um, it has a nice little swivel cord here and adjustable thermostat settings. So the highest setting uh, for the heat that this goes on is 410 degrees, but I don't like to put that much heat on my hair if I don't have to. So what I usually do is bump mine down to 310 degrees and that it still gives me a good curl. It holds and everything like that. So I'm happy with it being at that heat. So I'm not overheating my hair if I don't have to, you know what I mean? It doesn't take very long for this flat iron to heat up. It takes about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. So I'm going to wait just a moment for my flat iron to heat up and then we will start the curl. So my uh, flat iron is thoroughly heated up. So now we are going to start the curling process. Um, I don't really do anything super spectacular with it. I just take a vertical section of hair just like this. And I'll take my flat iron, clamp it, and give it a twirl. And then once I have my hair like this, I might give it a slight pull, but I leave it there and I don't touch it after I've curled it. And then grab another piece. And with my hair being short, I have been doing them mostly all in the same direction, which is away from my face. Um, whenever my hair was a bit longer, I would alternate the way that my hair was curled. Come on, you. There we go. Sometimes you gotta kinda help it on the shorter pieces and curl it a little bit more. So with my really short hair back here, um, I don't mess with it too much. Right here, I have a cowlick. So if I don't straighten my hair at those areas, they will poke straight out from my head. Um, so I do just like to flat iron those down. So like I said, since my hair is very short back there, um, I pretty much just try to flat iron it down and then I will hold my hand um, down on the back of my head like you saw me do, just so it really lays that hair down because like I said, I do have two cowlicks on the back of my neck on either side and it makes my hair stick straight out. So I like to avoid that as much as possible. And I'm just going to continue with the longer pieces of curling them like this. And these pieces in the very back that are a little bit longer, I just kind of grab them and flip them whichever way. They don't really go around the barrel. So once I get to this top section of my hair where my hair is the longest, I'll go ahead and part my hair and just repeating what we've been doing.
So at this point, since my hair is all curled, I let it cool down completely before I touch it at all. Um, and what I'll usually... What I'll usually do at this point is go in with a couple products. Um, this is one of the best um, kind of texturizing sprays that I have ever found. It is from Beauty Pinups and it is the Stay Dirty Dry Shampoo. Now, as for dry shampoo, I don't like using it as that um, in that sort of way. I don't think that it absorbs my oils very well. But what it does do is give absolutely amazing like dirty gritty texture to your hair and it makes my curls just amazing so i will just grab this and i'm almost out of it um this was actually given to me by a very good friend of mine her name is shauna hey shauna if you're watching um she gave me this and it is so amazing i'm almost out so i'm gonna need some more of that yeah um, and I really like to spray this back here as well to really, you know, get some good, like, texture and um, some just really good texture in the back of my head. Spray it here. And it doesn't take a lot of this. Um, now, if I did need some dry shampoo, um, say I'm doing this the day after I wash my hair, uh, my hair does get pretty oily fairly fast, especially whenever it is grown out as much as it is. Um, and my current favorite dry shampoo is this one from Batiste. It is the Batiste Volumizing Dry Shampoo. It um, doesn't leave too much of a white cast in my hair, but it does give my hair a lot of volume, a lot of like texture to it. And I really love the way that my hair looks after I use this and work it in. But since I did just shower today, I don't really need this right now. Ooh. So just this dry shampoo, dry shampoo from Pinup Beauties does the trick. And as far as my hairspray goes, um, I'm not too picky. I'm using this one from Garnier Fructis. It is the uh, volume hairspray and it has a 24 hour hold, anti-humidity. And yeah, um, I like it. I'm, I don't really care that much about hairsprays. So I just use this one and what I'll do, I'll kind of lift my hair, give it some sprays, kind of pull my flyaways down a bit. But I spray all of my hair and put in the texturizing products whenever it's like this before I kind of finger comb it out. Let that dry on my hair for a minute. So what I'll do now um, that my hair is completely cooled down, I will go in and just kind of tousle them with my fingers. Um, that way it's not so Suzy Q ringlet style because I just don't like how that looks. Um, but I don't do it as much as I used to because my, I don't know, it just looks a little bit better with my hair if I don't completely, you know, go in and really mess them up how I did whenever I had longer hair. So I'll just kind of give it a little zhuzh. Especially these pieces up here. That way my hair doesn't look like vertical clumps. And over here I do something a little bit special. And the back of my hair right here, it always likes to do this little weird part. So I make sure to really grab those pieces and pull them. Um, sometimes I will tease the back of my hair right here just to give it a little bit of help, which I might have to do that today. And then right here, again, just going in and really pumping it up. I like to get as much volume on this side as I can because the majority of my hair, you know, is over here because of the way that I part. But what I do, how I always wear my hair, I will take this kind of like little sideburny piece and I tuck my hair behind my ear and leave a little bit of it out. And then the rest of this I smooth down. So that way I have a lot of volume up here 
and then it's nice and smooth down here with a little bit out in the front. I just kind of keep messing with my hair, pulling it in different directions, breaking apart different pieces just to kind of get it to the way that I like it. And then if I have like say these little pokey outy bits right here, I might grab them with my flat iron just to smooth those out. You can see how I have all of that completely flat down there. And then the same thing with this side, but it's only these pieces right here that I will straighten. And that is how I curl and style my hair. Um, I don't curl my hair every single day. Um, I do like doing it every now and then, but this hairstyle, it'll last me for, um, I would say about two to three days, just depending. Definitely using my dry shampoo helps me, uh, maintain the style and kind of get a little bit of extra life out of it for a few days. Um, if I need to, I'll curl a piece or so here and there, but this is how I like to wear my hair. Alright y'all, so this is the finished product of how my hair looks after I curl it and style it the way that I like. Um, I did throw on a little bit of makeup, so at least the intro will be a little bit pleasant to look at. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so here it is all finished. So if you did enjoy this video and you want to see some more, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. whenever I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.